Great guys can ask questions. Um, the reason I came tonight is that somebody else came and gave a talk here in this very room about a year ago, and I got to hear somebody else's experience, and that really helped me. So when I got through this program, I was like, wow, you know, I'm sitting here in class, and it's kind of, to me, the elephant in the room. Like, here I am at City College, and there's this whole other way of learning, and we're not talking about it. People have questions. So my intent tonight is to give you, like, information. Not to say this is good, this is bad. It's to give you information and my perspective, because that was really helpful for me. Um, and so, how many of you have ever heard of a boot camp? How many of you are thinking about doing a boot camp? How many of you have done a boot camp? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> All right, just to get an idea. Um, so a little bit of perspective on me, just so you understand where I'm coming from, is I, I was actually a software engineer in the 90s, and I worked at Hewlett Packard in Cisco, did some Pearl, did some C. Um, I left there and uh, went and became a marriage and family therapist, so all the way over here, did some couples counseling. About a year ago, I thought about uh, coming back, and I actually enrolled in uh, Supercell Codes 110A and realized I really loved it again. Um, so while I was in that class, I thought about, wow, this is great, but I need to make some money, I need to do it now. And then I looked into some boot camps and I thought, mm, I don't think I learned well that way. I really learned methodically, that's my style. I don't learn like drinking from a fire hose kind of thing, like they do what I make in my tea or whatever, right? Um, so I said, no, I'm not gonna do the boot camp thing. And then my light lady called. <laughs> and she said, you know, I'm thinking about selling the building. And I was like, I think I might think about that boot camp. <laughs> <laughs> so I enrolled, I went through the nine weeks of prep. They take you through nine weeks. And uh, they said, oh, it's gonna take you 10 to 15 minutes, 10 to 15 hours a week for those nine weeks. You'll do the, pre the preparatory materials. And then you'll do nine weeks on campus, right? So I was like, okay, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, what did it take to enroll? What, oh, what did, it, did that, you have to yeah, screen? Did you they screen? To, um, they asked me, why don't you go and learn a little bit of Ruby? And then we did some Skype interviews, and then they did a little bit of a coding challenge. And um, they were like, okay, you're good to go. Now, good to go meaning you're good to go to pay the $12,000 that it costs, which is not the most expensive, by the way. There are more expensive boot camps than that one. Um, but that's about mid range for a boot camp experience. Oh. So it's 19 weeks total. Um, so the nine weeks of prep, they were like, oh, 10 to 15 hours a week. And I ended up spending an average of 40 to 42. Now, I didn't know what that meant. Does that mean I'm not ready? Does that mean I'm slower? Does that mean I'm older? I don't know. Um, but I thought, oh, 10 to 15 hours a week, I can totally go on vacation. Not, not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Montana trying to get a web you know, connection, trying to do Skype pairing sessions across, it didn't really work very well. Um, so then what is on site is a very intense nine weeks where you are working 80 to 100 hours a week. So if you like that, let's be eat, sleep, breathe code kind of thing, then you will love it. If you are exhausted by eat, sleep, breathe code, it will not be a great experience. It will be exhausting. Um, so the good things about it, there are some very good things about it. The things that work for me are coding every day is very helpful to me. Coding every day, it stays in your brain. You get traction, you learn, you remember. You don't have to remember where you're at. That helps even more when you're doing it all day long, every day, from the minute you wake up till the minute you go to sleep. Jeez. You really can cover a lot, and we did cover a lot. Three weeks of Ruby, boom, you're a Ruby developer. You know, three weeks of, okay, JavaScript, jQuery, Ajax, Angular if you're lucky, right? Boom, you're a web developer. Okay, another three weeks, let's do your final project. Ruby on Rails, whatever you want. Do a mobile app. Sky's the limit, right? So for some people, they really latched on. For some people, they really know something. It depends, right? So the bad news, the things that are not great about it. It is intense. If you have a dog, if you have a spouse, if you have anyone who, if you have a plant, anyway, <laughs> I'm <laughs> kidding. There were breakups. There were lost dogs. Plants died. Okay. <laughs> bad, 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 bad. Um, me, myself, I have a fiance. I have a child. Yes. Oh. Oh, when you're at a stopping point. Yeah, no, go ahead. I'm fully interruptible. Food? The Solution? What is food? <laughs> <laughs> You're coding, you don't need food. No. <laughs> um, some boot camps provide food, this one does not. So you're on your own. But you do get a generous lunch hour. They give us an hour and a half, which you need. 
Yeah. So you start at nine. Well, I start at seven. <laughs> you go until 12.30, you take a lunch break from 12.30 to 2. So you can go, I chose to use that time to go work out because I had to for my sanity. And then you go, uh, the core hours are until 6. Most people don't leave until 9. I tried to leave at 7 or 8, but that's really tough. People are there until later than me, probably 9 or 10. A few people stayed even later. Um, and that was my schedule pretty much until week 5 in which I hit the wall, and I was like, wow. The, you know, the, I learned a lot about learning, though. The way that, ah, like the way that you learn is really, it's bricks and mortar, right? You're putting, ah, Yeah, I think the markers are dead. I, yeah, yeah I'm we're feeling it. Anyway, the bricks and the bricks, the bricks are the information. Ah, ah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> So the bricks are the information that you get, right? And the mortar is the time and the synapses that kind of glue this all together. And that's how you learn. That's why cramming doesn't work, right? Because then you just get a ton of bricks and they're all just messed up and they don't make any sense, right? What I found is that because of the intensity, like I already knew programming languages, I already had a bachelor's degree. So getting through the three weeks of Ruby was not so bad. But once I got into learning jQuery one day, Ajax the next, all of a sudden I was like, I, can't, I, I tried to stretch out my day, so I would get up at five. I don't recommend this. And go to bed at two. And you can imagine Jeez. after about a week of that, it's pretty much my nose hit the carpet. So, but in order to try to create this, I ended up trying to stretch time that way. Like I said, not recommended. But anyhow, um, I, me personally, I. We have a child, my fiance and I have a child, and um, she was, she's eight now. She stayed up until I would get home at nine. <laughs> so she's losing sleep. So just to give you an idea of like, it's, it's, um, there's a tax on your learning. Um, so uh, for me, I wanted to give you this information. I think the things that I wish I had done differently, I think I would have done better had I taken more classes here um, before starting the boot camp experience because the more of this you have solidified, the less you have to create. You're just filling in. And the people who did really well in boot camp really uh, kind of maybe didn't even need to be there. They already knew. They played with Ruby on Rails. Maybe they built an app. Um, but then that's kind of, you know, if, if you can do it, do you not need to be there kind of thing. So I learned more, but the exposure was incredible. I mean, the thing that drove me there was I would look at job listings and I'm like, I, it looks like alphabet soup. I had to pie just you know, SQL, what is this? And now I'm like, oh, okay. I know a lot more of what I'm looking at. I'm like, I know what I know, and I know what I don't know. And I'm like, well, what is this? But at least I have a broad range of like, yeah, I can build a web app. Yeah, I can do that. Now I have a portfolio. I can show stuff, which is really great. So that's kind of the good, the bad, and the ugly in short form. So let's see, that's only what, how many minutes? Yeah, you guys got a minute and a half for questions. <laughs> <laughs> Is your portfolio online somewhere? It will be. Okay. I'm working on it. Right, sure. Uh, Bootstrap. Uh, <laughs> how, how, how good were they about uh, getting you employed at right away, or were you just yeah. like immediate, like employable? Uh, <laughs> hmm? Yeah, that's the theory, right? Is And I, I thought we would get a lot more help. Um, and in reality, you kind of end up on your own. I mean, they'll give you some help, but really, I thought it would be like, here, here's your employer, shake hands. Um, <laughs> it's not quite that way anymore. I think when they started it, it really was like that. Like here, employers would come and you'd have round robin interviews, you know, because there's so few graduates. I think now there are more graduates, and more employers have been like, wow, we, we're kind of, we got, we're kind of saturated a little bit, maybe. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Ask me in three months, because I'm looking now. Looking right now. Yeah. So I'll know more. I just graduated in December, so it's only been about a month. Oh yeah, that's and, good. Uh, it, I, I've been waiting longer, I think. Yeah. Kind of just to piggyback off the last question, do they have any kind of statistics regarding what the median expected salary is of, of recent graduates? Uh, whew, they used to put those out, and then I've noticed it stopped. Um, and I don't know why that is, but I haven't seen statistics lately. The old numbers were, oh. I'd be, I'd imagine it's tough to track that. That's just me talking. Um, 
it used to be it was like an average of 85. I know Hack Reactor used to average uh, 110. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But what they don't tell you in the statistics is that you know it could be any kind of different job. It could be an internship. It could be an apprenticeship. So they, you know, they used to say 85 percent after like three months would be employed. And then, yes. Um, does it matter what boot camp you go to or your plan? Like, for instance, I'm thinking of doing Thinkful, which is pretty much like an online hybrid type of boot camp. It's not really a boot camp. But I know it's going to prepare me to build more projects. And then that concurrently would take me classes here. So, I mean, my question ultimately is, can, do you think that's a reputable program? Have you heard of it? Um, do you recommend any other boot camps that are maybe cheaper? Yeah. Yeah. Because um, 10 G's is 10 G's, you know. I know. <laughs> and, you know We're aware. About that, it's, it's, well, yeah, it's 10, it's 10 grand and 12 grand. But, um, you know, if you get a job in the next year that's 112, you know, then you pay for your boot camp. Um, I'll be honest, I have no idea about the, the, the thing that you mentioned. Uh -huh. um, I looked at three. I looked at Hack Reactor, I looked at App Academy, and uh, Boot Camp. General assembly. Sorry? General assembly. General assembly. Yeah, I didn't look at them because I, I hadn't heard of them at the time. So uh, the things I know, Hack Reactor, I know does all JavaScript. They really just do all JavaScript, and they are more expensive. I think they're like eighteen thousand. App Academy. I know they work more individually at WCamp. Camp. We did almost yeah. exclusively pair programming. I think App Academy is much more individual programming. So you're kind of teaching yourself sometimes, which is fun. Um, but those are just like snippets I've heard. I have never visited either of the other ones, but I definitely, definitely know most about it. Yeah. And there was one other hand up there. Was it here? Yeah, no. you did. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah. How often do we meet for the, the, the conference company and so on? Like Every single week. Every, every Thursday. Thursday. Every Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. The Coders Club is every Thursday. This every, time, every right here. Friday, uh, 5 o'clock to 7. 7. Thursday. Thursday, 5 Today 7 Thursday. in this room. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yes? Great. All right. Wow. Well, good luck. Um, I'll give you my email address.